Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. Today I thought it would be kind of fun to do a book tag that I have seen going around and that is the anti-TBR book tag. So this book tag is pretty much about books that you're not interested in reading or that you didn't like or authors that you're not interested in reading or didn't like. I will put a little disclaimer here that just because I really didn't like these books and these authors doesn't mean that you won't and it's certainly not an attack against you in case you absolutely love these books so please don't come after me. <laughs> uh, I feel like I probably shouldn't even have to say any of that because you probably know that just because I dislike a book doesn't mean it's a horrible book in general. So anyways. I believe this TBR was originally made by Nicole and her books and I will go ahead and link that video in the description. Let's get started. The first prompt is a popular book that everyone loves that you have no interest in reading. I could probably name quite a few for this honestly. Um, Beach Read comes to mind. I'm also not interested in reading Gone Girl by Gillian or Gillian Flynn. Um, I know enough about the plot to know that it's just not for me. I'm also not really uh, interested in reading The Handmaid's Tale and that's a book that pretty much everyone seems to universally love but I know the plot of it and I know that there's some sexual assaulty type stuff in that book and books that are a little more explicit with that I really am not interested in reading. The next prompt is a classic book or author that you have no interest in reading. As soon as I saw this prompt like 100% my mind went Lolita. <laughs> I do not want to read it. I know what it's about and I'm really not into reading about pedophilia and predatory grooming. Uh, I think that would really disturb me and disgust me. So that's not a book I will ever pick up ever ever. There's a lot of books on this list that I'm like probably would never read but this one is like a hard no for sure like a never. I will never read that book. Um, and an author if we're gonna go separately from the book. I'm not interested in picking up James Joyce. That has nothing to do with uh, anything any sort of plot of his books I just really don't love streams of consciousness writing and I'm pretty sure that's like a lot of what he writes I struggled with William Faulkner for that same reason so James Joyce is just not something I'm interested in reading the next book is a popular author that you have no interest in reading the first author that came to mind was Sarah J Mass. Sorry, I know she's very very popular on booktube but uh yeah I'm not into the fairy scene and everyone's just super thirsty all the time and I, I just yeah I don't <laughs> I don't know there's something about her books that I'm just like no. And then the other author that I don't think I would ever pick up anything that he writes is George R. R. Martin. I it's kind of a shame because I feel like I would really love the plot of uh, Game of Thrones but I just I can't go there. I know that he greatly details like rape and sexual assault in his pages and I just don't want to read that. <laughs> I feel like there's no book that the plot is good enough for me to want to read that and I know that there's a lot of people who will be like oh I just skipped those pages and if that's what you do or it doesn't bother you good for you but it really bothers me and I'm incapable of just like skipping pages because I gotta know where it ends and I just I don't know I just am not interested in anything by him at all. <laughs> The next one is an author that you have read a few books by and have decided that they're not for you. I very sadly have to say Neil Gaiman. I wish that I liked his books but I feel like some of the things that he writes about I just I don't know. I read um, 
the ocean at the end of the lane I actually DNF'd that one because it was just getting too creepy for me and I started Stardust and I didn't like that either and I read Coraline and I didn't like that either <laughs> um the only book of his that I've read that I like is fortunately The Milk and not only is that a children's book which Coraline is too oh, but this is a children's book but it's funny and it's supposed to be funny it's not supposed to be creepy it's not supposed to be gritty it's not supposed to be magical realism or anything it's just funny <laughs> so that I guess maybe if he wrote more books like that for children maybe I'd read them but I have not liked anything I've read by him and I've actually DNF'd some of his books so not interested in picking up another Neil Gaiman. The next is a genre that you have no interest in reading or that you have tried to get into but just couldn't. Um, there is a few that I could put in this because there are some genres that I just really, I don't know, they don't really click with me. One of those would be romance and I'm talking like romance that goes towards kind of the erotica area <laughs> definitely not interested in picking up that but even regular romance I just it's funny I was so romantic as like a kid and a teenager and now like as a 30 something I'm just like this is boring I, I don't know why but so I'm not super interested in reading romance kind of feels like all of them are the same if romance is part of the plot, that's different, but a book that is only meant to be romance and that's it. Not really a fan. A genre I've tried to get into and couldn't would be sci-fi. I read a couple of sci-fis within the past year and just, I don't know, like the parts of the books that I liked were not the sci-fi elements. Um, but I'm not really necessarily totally ready to give up on that genre because I think I probably could find some authors in that genre that I do like so I don't know the next one is a book that you bought that you'll that you will never read and I could cheat on this in multiple ways because I am sitting in front of middle grade shelves and there are a lot of books that I buy for my daughter that I wouldn't read and then I've bought some beautiful beautiful antique books um, that I own regular copies of so I wouldn't read those but I feel like that's cheating because I feel like this is supposed to be a book that you bought but that you wouldn't read just because you're like eh never mind I'm not interested in this so for that I'm gonna go with I bought Made to Crave by Lisa Turkust uh at a thrift store so I really didn't lose any money on it I probably spent like 25 or 50 cents on it and I've never read anything by her but I've read excerpts of her writing and I just don't know that I would really like any books written by her. So I'm actually probably going to donate this book back from the same thrift store I bought it from. The next prompt is a series that you have DNF'd. Well, I already mentioned sci-fi. So The Murderbot Diaries. <laughs> I think there's five of them out so far and I only read the first book. <laughs> Uh, I read it and I really didn't like it. Uh, not only did I not like the sci-fi elements, but I didn't like Murderbot and I didn't like the other characters and I just didn't care. So yeah, that's kind of a more popular series that I have DNF'd and don't plan to ever pick back up. And the last one is a new release that you have no interest in. And I guess it kind of depends on what you mean by new release because the first book that popped into my head was My Dark Vanessa, which is a very uh, popular book, but it came out about a year ago, so I don't know if that counts as a new release. Uh, again, that's a book that has kind of predatory sexual themes between a teacher and a student, so yeah, not interested in that. Uh, but I did think of something that was more recent, <laughs> and that's Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. I read all the Twilight books when I was younger. I was probably like 19 or 20 when I read them, and I liked them okay at the time. You know, they were kind of like mindless things to read, but as an adult, I'm just 
not interested. I don't like vampire books all that much and I really, I don't know, just, yeah, I don't care. I don't need a continuation of Edward's story. I just, I don't care. It kind of feels like lazy story writing too because it's, I'm pretty sure, a rewrite of the first book but from Edward's perspective and it's just kind of like, it feels like a money grab essentially. So yeah, not gonna read it. Well, that's it. That is the anti-TBR book tag. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts, but please don't attack me. <laughs> but I would like to hear actually, are your thoughts different than mine? Are any of these authors ones that you're like, yeah, no, or books that you are not into? Or maybe you can change my mind on some of these books that I think I've made up my mind to never read. So if that's the case, then please make your case in the comments down below. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you again next time.